Hi everyone. Okay, it is October 21, 2018. Well, I have read all of your comments underneath the video that I posted asking you guys how you are feeling and I was showing the magnificent frequencies coming out of Houston which seem to now be 24-7 uh, every time I've checked. There they are. Okay, this was today. Um, the pink. I believe it's lithium. They do put lithium into the atmosphere to create artificial clouds. Well, based on my research, they have experimented with lithium and they were able to create cloud. Are they doing that now for that purpose or are they loading us with lithium? When you see mainstream media articles and those articles are about, well, should we put lithium in the water supply because of the beneficial effect, that's when you begin to think, okay, this could be lithium. All right, what are the side effects or adverse effects of lithium? Hand tremors, increased urination, mild thirst, diarrhea, vomiting, drowsiness, muscular weakness, lack of coordination, giddiness, blurred vision, ringing in ears, loss of concentration, short-term memory loss. This was tonight, and what you are seeing, it could be, oh, pretty much every night here. And it's interesting how you see the use of the frequencies scattering the black carbon dust as well as the lithium throughout the atmosphere. And what is up, it does come down, and we are breathing this. Earlier today, the microwave frequencies that make themselves quite visible in the sky here, well, they've been very visible every day. And the chemtrailing has been pretty intense. Now, for those of you who don't know how to spot microwave frequencies, it's that those ripples that you see that are evenly spaced. Those are the microwave frequencies. The symptoms that all of you are experiencing are symptoms of microwave radiation exposure. And I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow, hopefully, showing you many studies that have shown that all of the symptoms that you're experiencing are related to the microwaves, the extremely low frequencies, radar. So when we are now uh, saturated, this artificially generated electromagnetic field that now envelops the world 24-7. It alters all life, not just human life, all life. And we are now bombarded with these microwaves. When you don't have the microwaves or the clouds in your sky, you may not see the microwaves, but if you look closely, you can see still the ripples in a haze. The, uh, 
the effects differ from person to person. It affects everybody. Every person is altered by this artificial saturation of electromagnetic radiation. You know, the electricity that we used to have before this wi fi world, it was steady. The electricity was steady. Now with this wi fi world, we're saturated in these irregular, intermittent pulses. And studies have shown that the pulses cause immune alterations which then <laughs> uh, causes infection because if you can't fight it off if you don't have a strong immune system then you're vulnerable so we used to live harmoniously with the earth's frequency the human resonance which was steady it was coherent a resonance a resonance that was coherent, steady, all life resonated with the earth's tune. Man has changed that tune. It's now like an incoherent cacophony of uh, electronic music or digital music, whatever you call that kind of music. It, it's changed the natural elect electromagnetic field. And you change the natural electromagnetic field, you change everything about life. Everything. You know, we used to have a coherent system of life. Now, it's incoherent. Now it's chaos. Microwave pulses affect every cell in our body. All of these chemicals that sometimes that you can see, the pink, the green, in the clouds. If you're affecting every cell in all life, but in the human body, you're causing molecular breakdown. It's like molecular chaos which speeds our way to death. That's why a lot of people um, talk about how these microwaves cause rapid aging. So, I wanted to get this up today yeah, I take so many videos and I've got to stop because I've been at this for six years. Um, it's the frustration, the despair, the depression, the hopelessness, the helplessness that a lot of you express in your comments. I feel it's hard watching life die and that's that is what we are doing now it's uh, having a very dangerous cumulative effect and in speaking to subscribers corresponding with subscribers the effect especially those subscribers that I have communicated with throughout the years I know that they are struggling more today than they were years ago and I too am 
struggling more, just uh, trying to get through each day. Understanding that every person is affected differently, though every person is affected, whether you feel it or not, whether you are attributing your symptoms to these microwave frequencies, you may not be. It doesn't mean that it's not the microwaves. But there are some of us who are very sensitive to this and it has made life just a nightmare. And when you can't get away, when there's no escape, and there is no escape, and some of us are living in areas where the, the intensity, the saturation of these microwaves are far more intense, which will only make life in that area really struggle to hold on. You know, you see the trees struggling to to uh, hmm. I'm sorry, I was just uh, distracted. I am also going to be posting a video on the strange behavior of the cats here. And I just heard uh, one of the cats just meowing like, well, she has never done before, but there's a lot of strange behavior. Anyway, um, can't remember what I was saying. Yep, the moon out. <laughs> So when you can't get away, when you, when you have no escape, when the saturation of Wi-Fi and smart meters and neighbors' apartments and the cell towers and the antennas all over, um, that is only going to speed up the uh, death process. I mean, it sounds dramatic, but that's exactly what is happening. This is very dangerous. This is very serious. And I, I don't have it in me to placate or downplay or um, candy coat what we are living. It also creates an awful lot of anger. When your life is being detrimentally affected and you have no escape, and you know that this is being caused by man, this is not, you know, a, a result of any anything natural or organic happening. This is caused by man. The standards that the FCC has not set for this world that we are now living in, standards that they were using in 1996. These frequencies are off the charts. So when you have to live with chronic pain, when you can't think clearly, when you can't get to do what you want to do, when your functioning gets so depleted that you're like <laughs> struggling with just basic functioning, yes, <laughs> that should make people angry. That is a tragedy beyond belief. Now, I want you to see this, and I'm just going to end kind of abruptly. Uh, do you see that red right there, the bottom in the center? I was, I've never seen it happen. It was like someone turned on a bright red light. It was instant. It happened. And then 
it very quickly faded into like a green. Ah, that was weird. Lots of weird things happening. Anyway, I am going to end this. Um, I'll pick up tomorrow with uh, the studies. And I am sorry that so many of you are having a really difficult time. It is a very difficult time we are living. But anyway, that's a little strange, don't you think? Life has become strange. Bye, guys.